Hello everybody. In the previous videos, uh, we covered how we can model an armature control DC motor and with systems uh, that include some sort of an armature control DC motor inside of it. Okay, now we will uh, talk about uh, or uh, try to model a field controlled uh, electrical DC motor. Okay, so in the field control model, uh, where field current is technically non-constant, okay, so it depends on our input of voltage or current, it depends on uh, the approximation or uh, technically model perspective, but we assume that the armature current I A is constant and which is supplied with a uh, constant uh, current source. Okay, so in this respect, even if we have some sort of back EMF voltage, since the armature current is constant, we can simply compute the torque of the system as this. Torque generated by the field uh, control DC motor is equal to KF times IFS or T, sorry for that, which is technically wrong, okay, T. So technically the torque is equal to constant and field current. So why it's important? Because field circuit is not affected by the back EMF voltage, so there is no feedback from mechanical part to the electrical part. For this reason, it's slightly easier to model a field control DC part. But as I told you previously, majority of uh, electrical motors are armature controlled because uh, many of them uses a permanent magnet uh, which generates constant field where we try to uh, manipulate the uh, armature current uh, by adjusting the voltage of this side. But in this case, in a field current uh, control DC motor, we assume that this is constant, so torque is simply equal to Kf, which is a constant times field current. If we convert to the Laplace domain, we obtain that it's equal to Kf times If times S. Okay, so let's assume that Vf voltage of the field circuit is the input of the system. Let's try to find a transfer function from Vf to the uh, angular velocity of the output load. And as you can see, we have a rotational damper and also a load inertia at the output shaft. Okay, so let's try to model it. Very, it will be very easy. You will see that. Okay, so let's start with the electrical part. So we know that uh, Vf, okay, so it's the input voltage. Uh, minus uh, the uh, voltage of the inductor, which is equal to L times di over dt, dif over dt minus rf times if is equal to zero. Okay, so if we find transfer function from ifs divided by vfs, we will simplify that it's equal to one over lfs plus rf. Okay, so this is the transfer function from input voltage to the output current. Okay, that's nice. So what we need is we need to run our function for the mechanical part, which is very easy. We already computed that in the previous video. So we know that, okay, uh, the omega s, which is the uh, angular velocity of the output shot, divided by torque s, which is the input torque, which is generated by the electrical motor, is equal to 1 over js plus beta. Okay, this is everything that we need to model a simple field control DC motor. Okay, so we have two transfer functions, and output of one of the transfer function is somehow the input of the other transfer function. It's not exactly true because we have also conversion from IF to torque. So let's try to build the block diagram here. Okay, it will be very easy, you will see that. So we have VF of S, okay. So we have an electrical transfer function or transfer function of the electrical part, Js plus beta, which generates current. This is equal to If of S. If we multiply with a constant, we generate a torque of S. If we process this transfer function with a mechanical system, which is equal to Js plus beta, we generate the output uh, omega. As, as you can see, there is no feedback. This is a simple cascaded program structure. If we compute the transfer function, we will find that G of S is equal to Kf divided by J times LFS square plus, okay, so let's write it in a uh, cleaner part. Okay, this was an example I will show in a different video. Okay, so transfer function, which is equal to omega S divided by Vfs simply equal to Kf divided by J times Lfs square plus J times 
Rf plus beta Lfs plus beta Rf plus Kf. Okay, as you can see, this is a second order transfer function. Uh, so uh, if we move from field control to armature control, okay, if we don't change the mechanical part, the order of the system is the same, but of course transfer function is different because in this part, as you can see, the back EMF voltage or the mechanical part is not affecting the electrical part, there is no feedback, this is a cascaded feed forward or open loop system structure. Okay, in a field control DC motor topology, if you want to control something, if you want to stabilize system, uh, adjust the performance, you need to close the loop using uh, synthetic uh, control algorithms, which is technically uh, one of the main uh, objects of this course.